Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing great. My name is Masi and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be among the first to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate. And now, we are here to show some love to Prince Harry and also to Meghan Markle. So you all know, whatever has been going on currently, we have the investigation that Byline Times are doing right now. And now, as they try to give us the full facts about the royal family, obviously, I expected some people to come in to distract this, but I just know that it will not distract it. I believe in them. I know whatever they say about them, Byline will just continue their investigation smoothly and we will be able to get the full report about all this. And so, you know, the royal family are used to covering up themselves. They are used to using the British press to cover up their evil deeds. But I personally feel like the current situation that they are in now, they are not able to cover up themselves because it's getting intense. Byline Times is giving us some very deep secrets and actually they are not able to cover up for this. And guess what? Now, there is this particular website calling itself Royal News Network. So they are there to defend the royal family. But you know, at this point, they are not able to do so because everything is now out to the public and and they are really finding it hard to accept that the public is now much aware of all that happened. So all these scandals involving the royal family and those people surrounding them, the likes of Dan Wooten, and also we have William's private secretary, that is Christian Jones, who was previously interviewed and he gave out some malicious messages. Actually, they told out themselves. In that particular interview, Christian Jones was able to give some news about what happened during that particular time. And basically, in that particular interview, Christian Jones sold out themselves. But they tried to cover up using some other people, saying that the client that was involved in that case was someone who is not the Duchess of Sussex. And that story, I did it yesterday as a whole story. You can, you can go and check out on what Christian Jones was asked and whatever he answered, setting themselves in trap. Now, as I was saying, this royal family and all those who surround them will always look for a way to demean every person who is trying to give out facts about them. So Royal News Network came out and said that the byline knows nothing about the monarchy. So you remember, they said it so. And now, here are some more information about this so that you can get to know the way they are so much defensive. So they said this, I am reading it out to you, whatever the Royal News Network wrote. So kindly listen to this, in quotes. It's been almost four years and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are still failing after the disastrous fallout of their Mexit deal. The couple, high on their own egos, and delusions believed that they could make demands on the monarchy without the necessary leverage to make it happen. They were shown the door, and the couple remains obsessed with the 
rewriting history and and trying to make the world see the royal family and now the king charles are cruel and heartless when nothing could be further from the truth up to that point you have heard so they are saying that harry and megan are falling in life so they are saying that harry and megan are still failing after they are fall out of their exit deal from that statement you can tell the way these people are so bitter you can imagine so when did megan and harry fall just asking because i have followed up on whatever they are doing and they are really doing good for me i've never seen any plan that they got and they fail instead they are so much successful every event they plan you have seen the way people turn out they are so much loved by the public and everyone is so aware of what they are doing now even when we compare harry and meghan with william and kate there is so much difference and we can really tell that because you remember the way harry and meghan planned for a very good event during the mental health day that was the parent summit which was happening in new york city and immediately they announced that william and kate also announced a similar event and guess what everything that i saw was talking about and megan having a successful event in new york city where they featured parents everybody was talking of that but for william and kate up to date i can't tell you whatever happened during that particular event that they announced after harry and megan made their own announcement i really don't remember whatever happened in that particular event they did nothing i can say so because if there was anything good in their particular event we could have seen them because the media will not stop praising them and you know they could have written all the positive things praising them but i never saw that so now from that who is failing who is failing between harry and megan and also william and kate let's just compare it in a fair way these things are just literally out there we can see it even without communicating directly with them we can just observe this Actually I was reading to you whatever was written by that particular Royal News Network. So they continued this way. This is all being resurrected by the Byline Times, a publication attempting to make a splashy print debut by once again repeating the Sussex sob story by regurgitating tired narratives and citing anonymous sources. They argue that it was Harry's insistence of on naming a royal aide in one of his various and seemingly endless legal cases that was the catalyst for stripping the couple of 700,000 pound funding deal. Nothing could be further from the truth. Have you heard that? As I told you, Byline Times are just trying to give us all the facts about whatever happened. But you know, these people would not accept themselves. They actually find it difficult to move on. They are not even accepting that they are now known by the public. So they are here defending themselves with violence, attacking those who are investigating the facts. so they are using violence to defend themselves but this will not work trust me you everything will be aired out to the public and all the shame will be into them so you know sometimes these people maybe they think because they are in power we cannot get that chance to know all the evil that they do but finally we are here we have the details and we know how evil they are So I just wanted to update you on that. And you see all these insults that was written by the Royal News Network. 
Actually, it's a very long story. So I just read to you part of it. So kindly, my people, leave a comment down below about this particular news, whatever I've said about Royal News Network. So you've heard whatever they wrote, that insult. And let me assure you, this is the little part of it. You can go and find out all the insults. It's a very long story. So actually, I just read to you a very small part. Kindly go check it out and give your own opinion in the comment section. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, goodbye. Thank you for watching up to this particular point. Stay safe.